Now, before you go, okay, the final thing I've got for you tonight, Brett. Are you into crystals? Yeah, um, yes, bitch. Yes, the fuck I am. <laughs> okay, so Chelsea's so... wearing a celestite today, if Wait. you were wondering. Oh my god, tell me, what, what's a celestite? I'm a bit of a like a virgin a with crystals. I think I don't I'm not really like into um I don't I have a big celestite at home and I believe mm. celestite is all about like transformation and Ooh. creativity, I believe. Oh. Is it that? <laughs> And abundance, because, you know, we and love abundance. And abundance. We love abundance, honey. Chelsea be getting mm. that creativity in abundance. No, we love that. So what we've got, Brett, is some cute little people have sent in some of their problems. Ooh. Cute. We've got, we've got a game. Wait, it's a game named after you. It's called Bretman's Rocks. <gasps> That's so cute. So cute. You know, it's clever. It's, it's just a little cute name there. So basically, they sent in. I will be stealing in... that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Take that one, honey. You can take that. But so for the game of Bretman's Rocks, we've had some people send in some of their problems and they wondered if you could prescribe them a crystal. A crystal. Okay. How does oh that my sound? God. Um, yeah, let's do it. I know a little bit. I know a little bit. I know a little bit. I mean, I mean, Brett, I know nothing. So you could make anything up and I will honestly not know. I want to okay. know lots about crystals, but I'm just like, they're really pretty and I, I'm going to learn. I promise I'm going to learn. You're, honestly, I'm going to learn right here. One day, I really want to discover a rock and name it after myself. Let's do that. Let's. We need to Bretman's find Bretman's rock. You know Bretman's what I mean? rock. Please let me know when that happens, girl. Please. <laughs> when you find that rock, you let me know. Okay. I'll charge all of them with my confidence. <laughs> they'll, they'll be charged up straight away, honey. They'll be charged <laughs> up. Okay, so the first little issue here we've got is, oh, we've all been here. My boyfriend just left me and I'm feeling worthless. Oh. Brett, what, what are we prescribing? Mm, I would prescribe this person a rose quartz or mm. a carnelian. Um, rose quartz is really good for love, but you don't need um, outside love right now. You need to um, love yourself first. And I really feel like rose quartz is all, it's not just about like attracting love from a lover, but it's also like love within yourself. Carnelian is for creativity and con confidence. And I really recommend that. I also, I always get that for my friends who, um, are a little bit insecure, I guess you would say. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I would say. And I care. I always carry a carnelian and rose quartz with me. Oh, I love that. Okay, I love that. Right, here's a cute one. And I mean, I think you can help with this in general anyway. I want to get into fitness, but I'm scared of failing. Everybody, I feel like everybody when they first starts out is quite scared of failing at fitness. Yeah. Um, something that's really good for like transformation, if you really want to get into fitness about transformation and really transforming your body and your energy, um, there's a crystal called a labdorite, um, Ooh. and it's my ex-boyfriend's favorite crystal. Oh, why the fuck even I say that? Um, <laughs> ew, take that part out. Scratch you don't that deserve producer. no motherfucking screen time. No air time for him, honeys. Um, but we, I, what did I say it was a labdorite? A labdorite. Yeah, but it's pronounced like labradorite or whatever. Okay. Um, it's really cute. It's a really cool crystal, but it's about transformation and um, love that with with your body and your energy. So, yeah. Love that. Okay, well, I don't know whether this is going to be a crystal or just a piece of advice. So whichever one you feel, I feel like you're the person to ask. It's a big question, Brett. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I want to be the biggest, baddest bitch I can be. What are we prescribing? Bitch, if you want to be the biggest, baddest bitch you got to be, then you need yourself a Bretman rock in your life. Duh. Oh, we Ain't no other rock going to teach you how to love yourself yes! more. You know what I mean? So I would say, fuck a crystal, bitch. I'm the only crystal you need. Oh my god. Oh my um, god. That's it. <laughs> but if you actually genuinely feel like you're destined to be the baddest bitch that you are, I would probably get a Modavite. Which is really cute. And if you really want to be the baddest bitch, you got to get yourself a Herkimer diamond with it cuz it charges the Modavite, which is the ring that I have today. This is a Modavite. <gasps> oh my this god. This is a Herkimer diamond. And then this is a Diopsy something. And it looks like an emerald, but it's really cute. And I always carry um, my anklet with me. I'll show you. 
Stop. But I have like a little jade in there. Oh, for... I love. That's so cool. I never, I haven't taken this out in like five years. But the jade is for abundance and money. Because, you know, I had to attract that. And it's also really good for like a grounding stone. So those are the crystals I have with me today. And that's why she's the baddest bitch. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, bro. Thank you for that. I feel like Bretman's Rocks was a success, honey. Yes. Thank you so, so much. Now I've got one last favor for you, Bretman. Are you ready? What is it, girl? I, I honestly like, I honestly don't want this to end. So the best <laughs> way I can think of ending this podcast is with one of your iconic sign offs do you know what i'm talking about i feel like i can't do it because it, it just won't be good enough wait which one is that bitch i have a lot my but, youtube one i feel like i feel, i mean wait it's it's a hawaiian greeting i believe have i got that right i'm looking at people in the room i, I feel like it's a hawaiian greeting you may need to correct me wait shall i try wait, for which you sign off? yeah it goes a little something like no, because I know you can be like bitch. You did a complete. It's like chi something. Oh, chi? a chi who, bitch. You gonna have to take your earphones off for that, bitch. No, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. Well, you guys, this has been Nat and Brett with Pretty Little Thing. Chi! <laughs> and that's how you end a motherfucking podcast, bitch. The oh baddest podcast episode there is. Literally. That's what we're titling it. The baddest episode. There you go, producers, right now. That's the title. You don't even we'll need to. We, we, we got it. Someone write that down, Bretman. I can't tell you how much I've loved this episode. Thank you so, so, so much for being here. Like, oh my God, I wish we were in person. I just hug you and I know you'd feel really <laughs> uncomfortable and you'd hate it, but I would give you the biggest hug ever. Uh, I can't <laughs> wait to meet you. And our next one better be in person because this online shit is over <laughs> motherfucking rated. It's overrated, but Brett, you killed it and you made it so, yeah. so good. Like, I feel like you're here <laughs> in the room. Thank you so much for giving us your time and energy because honestly, we know you're booked and busy. So we really, really appreciate you. Now go and enjoy Mahalo. LA and Leo season and go and kill it some more, honey. We love you so much from everyone at PLT. Love you. Bye. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Thank you, Brett. And that's a wrap, guys. And to all of our amazing listeners, this has been PLT Behind Closed Doors with the iconic, incredible Bretman Rock. If you've enjoyed this episode, you guys know what to do. Go and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go and subscribe to us on Spotify, Acast, iTunes, wherever you get your podcasts. And make sure you go and follow PLT Behind Closed Doors on Instagram. We'll see you next week. <laughs>